Hi guys, in this video I will show you how I created a park texture with Substance Designer, Leaf Cluster and Tree using Speed Tree and my approach to rendering it inside of Unreal Engine 5. So to create the base for the park texture, you can combine a parallel noise with a Polygon 2 node and plug them into the slow blur node. The result will be something like you might see in the ZBrush using Trim Dynamic Brush. I used an intensity value of around 9. Then create Tile Sampler node and plug it into the Pattern 1 input. Set Y amount to 3 and X amount to 7. Change Pattern Type to Image Input. The main key here is to stretch the shape size in Y axis so it covers the most vertical space possible. Then add a random position, scale and play around with the random size parameters. Then add a blur node to smooth out peaks a little bit. Then use it as an intensity input for the directional warp node that was used to warp scratches. And to actually create those scratches, I use an isotropic noise which was rotated and went through levels node to select only parts of the noise. Use histogram scan node to clear up mask by making it more contrasty. In the directional warp node, I set value to 255 and play around with the angle to get the look I want. Then add Levels node to control Scratch's depth as by default it was too deep. And blur it a little bit. To combine the base shape with Scratch's, Blend node with the Subtract mode was used. Then another Warp node, but this time to create nodes on the bark texture. To create them, I use a Tile Sampler with a pattern type set to Bell. Play around with the scale position so they are not evenly placed. Use random mask parameter to make circles go deeper into the bark than others. Blur them and plug them into the first input of the warp node. The intensity parameter is used to make them appear less or more. Then slow blur node to warp the whole height a little bit based on the purely noise. And for the coloring, I use a histogram scan node to mask parts of the height for edge highlights, dark and lighter areas, as well as edge detect node to select slight edge highlights. Then convert all of the masks into the color with the help of the gradient color node and play around with the colors to your liking. To blend all of the colors together, first of all I blended highlights and base gradient with blending mode set to overlay and lower its opacity. For the other two blend nodes, I use default blending mode. The only difference here is that I use on both blends an opacity mask that was plugged into the histogram scan and edge detect nodes accordingly. This will tell a blend node to add a foreground color only to places where white values are present. Where values are black, the background color will be used. And here is how it looks like with and without the opacity blend mask. I could also change the blending mode with the first blend mode to copy instead of overlay and use opacity mask instead. Lastly, I change hue a little bit and add saturation and exposure. For the normal map, I increased its intensity. Add the ambient occlusion node as it clearly separates all of the dips and crevices. To create a tree, I start with a tube trunk, play around with the radius under the skin tab and taper the radius more towards the top using Profile Curve. Enable Welding checkbox and tweak Spread Value parameter to get something I like. Then import Bark Material and change it in the Material tab. And use a displacement from the material as a source instead of a noise. Pick displacement amount, fine noise and all of the parameters under the flares section. If displacement looks low quality, you need to add more polygons by increasing length or radial segments into the segment step. 
to optimize the poly count, use optimization parameter and tweak length radial curves to increase or decrease poly count towards the bottom or top of the trunk. To make the trunk curve, I use Magnum Force. In the force tab, enable checkbox and play around with the curve to get the look you after. I placed Magnum to the side of the tree, so tree would curve towards this direction. Then big branches preset mode is set to absolute with a number of branches set to 6. I made sure that branches will appear somewhere in the middle of the trunk. By using boundaries first option, tweak percent length of the parent, start angle, radius and segment section to optimize branches poly count. For the next branches, they all will be spine only, so they don't add more polygons to the whole tree. First is little branches preset, which was slightly modified by changing gen mode to absolute with a value of 10, tweak, position, rotation, start angle and length. Change gravity to the negative value so branches point upwards. The next spine branches is used as a fill to create a leaf. Formation. Generation mode is set to interval, frequency is set to 7, count to 5, absolute generation mode can be used also. I play around with the length, start angle, increased gravity to 1, so branches point downwards, increased late noise value to 1. This is used to break up the uniform shape for the next two steps, because upstream spine branches almost don't use late noise values, which makes leaf placement not particularly organic. For the next two spine branches nodes, generation mode was set to interval, frequency of 3, count of 2, spread value set to 1 to spread branches along the length of the parent branch, tweak length, start angle, parent curl section, gravity value set round to 1, so branches point downwards, enable checkbox to prune branches that cross the ground plane, Almost completely removed late noise, which helped to fix sticking out leaves, as you can see on the screen. A leaf cluster was created inside of speed tree. To start off, create a tube trunk, lower the radius and flatten it using a profile curve to make it equal radius from start to end. Add a single tube from the branches preset. Remove late noise completely, so the tube is straight. Change start angle to 0.5, so it's straight in the horizon. Open generation tab and rotate it by 0.25. This value will match XY plane. This perspective view will be used to render plaster texture. To preview the rendered window, go to the Windows properties, screenshot save frame section, and check the show parameter. Position the red line at the bottom, so it matches the start of the tube. I create a material with a green color and made it two-sided. Open cutouts window, create a basic leaf-like shape and place pivot at the bottom of the leaf. Then add a leaf node. Change generation mode to interval, frequency value to 8, count to 2, and spread them. Change the size, lower the position with the last boundaries value option, so leaves are not placed at the very tip of the branch. Change the size, x scale value to make it wider. To orient leaves in the camera direction, you can use a sky influence parameter, which will rotate leaves towards the sky. Use align parameter to align them in the forward direction of the branch. To add color to the branch, I create a simple stem material also inside of speed tree. Open the material tab and select stem material. To render the texture, go to the file, export material. And here's my export settings I have used. I have also added a subsurface amount by clicking on the add image. After cluster texture is created and exported, we need to import it into the tree file. Add it with the plus button, enable two-sided option and create a cutout. A color variation slider is used to change colors. On export, those variants will also be exported. Add a leaf, hold node and select imported material. Children per node is set to 1, internode length to 
on the first node and on the second one is set to 0.5. Change size and scale to your liking and randomize it. The important thing here is to increase boundaries first option which will help to remove sticking out leaves. Same with the light noise on the spines only branches as I showed you before. This is because leaf clusters will appear only at the straight part of the curve, where normal direction will be towards the bottom and not somewhere to the side on the curved part which is at the beginning of the each curve. For orientation, change align value to 1. To finish the crown part, or whatever it's called, I use another spine branches with generation mode is set to proportional steps, with a step and number set to 5. I come up to this value by trial and error. Use negative gravity and randomize length and start angle. Duplicate the same leaf node, change align orientation to negative 1 and tweak settings a little bit to your liking. The main idea here is to create branches that will point up, add leaves at the very start of every branch, and rotate them so they point in downwards. And here is how it looks like with and without the crown. I feel like it looks more complete with it. For the rendering part, first of all import a speed tree file and change wind setting to your liking. Uncheck ripple shimmer checkbox if you have an unexpected light change on your leaves. To get the look I got, the biggest impact gives me a skylight with a HGRI image. So first of all you need to download the HGRI you like, import it and use it as a specified cube map in the skylight. And after that you can lower its intensity and rotate it to your liking. The directional light has an intensity of 1.5 and 1.5 for indirect light intensity. In the post-process settings, I enable bloom and lower exposure. And that's pretty much how I done it. Source files are available by Patreon. Take care, see you soon.